Hey everybody, Mr. Sprickin here. Yeah! Where am I here? I'm at Sprickin Studios, which you probably already are aware or know of. And you might be asking, Mr. Sprickin, why the hell are you looking like this? Uh, well, uh, good question. Uh, you should check out the video before this one or after this one. I'm not sure what one's going to come out first, but uh, that will answer all the questions you want to have answered. <laughs> because I'm not going to answer them here. <laughs> Uh, so what the hell is this video? What the heck? Uh, it is a diorama video. Mm. Yes, another one. Now you might be saying, Mr. Spriggan? Okay, but where's the Musume? Like you promised. Uh, there's no Musume in this video. Because I needed the money to pay the bills, I had to come up with a, a quick diorama to build and sell. Um, and I did it. And it worked. So, mission accomplished. Now. It's always good to have content for this channel, so whenever I do that, I film and put it up. So hopefully you will like this diorama. And for the one person who commented on my last uh, Masume unboxing and review, who said, peace out, uh, I'm gonna go do some real diorama stuff or something. <laughs> Here's a diorama, and it's cool, don't you think? If you watch, I'm pretty sure you'll think it's, a, it's nice. It's a good diorama, I love it, and I uh, worked really hard on it, and I think it's one of my best yet. And I'm hoping you'll like it too. And maybe you'll see some things where you wonder, hmm, how did he do that? Wonder how? And you can ask me, and I'll tell you how. And not only that, but uh, maybe you get some inspiration or something. Okay? So see, we do dioramas here on Spricken Studios all the time, and we're never gonna stop. And we're gonna do Musume videos too, and that's not gonna stop. But uh, right now I need the money. Uh, so, <laughs> the next videos, okay, we're gonna have the Xena inspired Musume video on horseback with diorama. Mm, yes, so stay tuned for that and uh, Yeah, like I said if you want to figure out uh, why I am uh, like this uh, Check out the video before or after this um, You may not want to see it. I'm just gonna say that Might make you angry Might make you throw your hands up in a fit of rage or tip the table or something and be like screw this guy screw you mr. Spriggan <laughs> I don't know why but uh, some people act like that. Anyways, without further ado, here's the diorama. It's over there, as usual, that I'm pointing to. And it's there. And it's really cool. And thank you to the buyer who bought it. You help support this Frickin' Studios magic. I really appreciate it. Hoo hoo hoo! He's done it! He's done it again! Look at this! <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty cool diorama, I think. What do you think? Yep, it's a uh, 112 scale as per usual, and it measures about 22 inches long and about 12 inches deep and 16 inches tall, I believe. I believe those are the dimensions. Um, so it's a fair size, and it's a nice, simple, but incredibly detailed diorama of a street uh, corner side, not corner, side. Yeah, we have uh, the road, we have a sidewalk, we have some uh, construction fence with uh, boards up and a uh, dilapidated kind of building uh, behind with a couple of uh, electrical posts, which I love two bits. Uh, we're going to take a closer look in on all this stuff, um, and I'm not quite sure where to start first. Let's start with the uh, road thingy. Yeah. Okay, so I think my pavement asphalt game has been uh, upped a bit. Um, I've kind of figured out uh, the wash, the washes, um, and also the texture, and a little something different to use to get it this uh, kind of more speckly. Um, realistic look. Yes. So I think that's awesome. Uh, now, where are we starting? We're starting over here. Uh, to our sidewalk. Yes. And we got a lot of stuff and different uh, accessories. Uh, we have this cool fire hydrant here. And now, for starters, this fire hydrant uh, can be swapped out with uh, this uh, meter. Meter meter thing. Or, you know, what is it called? I don't know. But it's a meter. <laughs> Parking meter, that's what it is. Yeah, and I got these two things from uh, my pal at Grime City. 
Um, I'll put the link in the description. He sells all kinds of amazing diorama um, uh, props, props, uh, accessories, things uh, <laughs> for, your, for your diorama needs. Yeah, he also did this uh, milk crate. Yeah, he's, uh, he's amazing. He's super talented and uh, he's got all this stuff. So yeah, that's where these things come from. But the rest of the stuff is sprickin' made. Um, and uh, we shall focus first on this. Now look at this electrical pole, telephone pole thing. Ba, ba, ba. Man, I don't know. It, things like this just really please me. Um, it's, it's so cool, it's so fun, and uh, it just, there's an element of realism to it that uh, some of my other dioramas have uh, lacked a bit. And I think uh, this was, uh, I don't know, just something really cool to add to it. Uh, let's see, what do we got back here? We got some standard uh, beer bottle action pizza box and uh, uh, such. We have some wood that's fallen and uh, I'll show you over here. We got some more wood um, with uh, some broken glass. Yeah, and oh my god, I don't even know where I'm going, but I'm going all over the place. But look, we got some more of those spray cans for graffiti, those 94 ones, looking good. And newspaper to use to kind of help clean up the mess. And we got graffiti going on all over the place um, with my uh, very limited graffiti skills. Um, I wouldn't even call them skills at this point, but they do the trick, I think, when combined with uh, all of these uh, posters and such. It really looks cool, I think. And look, we got our post no bills. We got to have some bill up there. And uh, our bill of choice uh, is usually the Murray. Uh, so that is that. But look at this. We got our sprickin' sprickin' Banksy imitation or something, or sprickin' someone imitation. I don't know. It feels like I've seen this before somewhere, but uh, <laughs> he's there. And it works perfectly. I love it. Um, now, look at this brick. I am particularly proud of this brickwork because it is pretty detailed and textured. Yeah. And the colors are not too bad, too, if I do say so myself. And look at over here. Ah! We're bumping into, into things. Over here we have our shattered glass, which is a pretty realistic look, I do believe. Eh? Eh? Anybody know how I did that? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, look, we have another piece over here. This one actually uh, got more broke, and then hence the uh, <laughs> pieces down here. Now, uh, we got some random newspapers, and look at this. Some cones here protecting this stray wire that came off another light post, telephone post, electrical post, whatever you want to call it. And this, if I can get it in the right angle, um, let's see, well first we got our one way sign there, one way graffiti, um, and they just go into the ground. I'll show you uh, straight away both of these poles, they're just like a friction fit um, nicely in, yes, to the foam. So, nice. <laughs> okay, but look at this. Original, can we focus on this thing, please? Can we? Yeah, there we go. This original Sprickin design, these light posts and lights. Yeah, I found, I used to, I used these lights in previous dioramas, but I never actually used them like this. And you know what? I think it actually works. It can actually looks kind of like a normalish street lamp light thing. And look. We have this thing where the wire comes out of, and uh, it could attach over there to our friend, uh, but it doesn't because it's all splayed on the ground um, with the cones. Because this is a dangerous, dilapidated kind of area. Hmm. And that's the diorama, really. <laughs> it's a pretty, a pretty quick one to show you, but I think it's uh, really awesome. And you should see this thing at night. Uh, I can't really do it justice with my filming or my for photography skills or anything but uh, if you check out my instagram account um the seller i mean the seller that's me the buyer of this um i'm going to make sure that if they post their pictures with their figures or do whatever on instagram um that i can uh, take a look to link them or whatever because i'm sure they can do a better job than me um but yeah this you should just see this thing i took some pictures on instagram it's it's there it's in the dark it looks real it looks like you're in a real place Whew. 
I love it. And I'm going to make more. So if you're interested and you want something like this, it won't be exactly like this, obviously, but uh, it'll be pretty darn similar. Um, you can uh, hit me up on Instagram and uh, maybe I can make one of these for you. Hmm. Along with uh, other dioramas. Now, I'm not doing too many dioramas or doing really commissions per se, but um, yeah, if you're ever interested in diorama work that I've done, I post them on Instagram first and first come first serve to buy them. So yeah, I really love this dio. And I really love this Mr. Sprick in there. Yeah. Mm. <sighs> Storm's coming. Okay, so let's take a look at this in the dark and then uh, we'll wrap it up. Wait, right, but first, here's Michelangelo disappointed that uh, there's an empty pizza box on the ground. Maybe wondering who stole it and ate it. Hmm, yes. This just goes to show you what a action figure like this, approximately six inches, looks like on this diorama. Chung, chung. It works. And imagine the fight scenes that could take place here. Or, uh, I don't know, Spider-Man crawling on the ceiling or wall or something. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. Let's check it out in the dark. Oh yeah, look. I even put gum on the sidewalk. Fake gum, of course, but still. Okay, so don't mind the quietness of my voice or the sleepiness, but people are asleep <laughs> and it's late. Uh, I need the darkness to film this, obviously, so you can see with the light on. Oh, doesn't this look amazing? This is like my absolute favorite look seeing this diorama at night. It really does seem real. And I'm so super happy with how this light post turned out. And just look at the ambiance of it all. I know we can't really see too much detail, but it's like real life, right? When there's only, you know, one light functioning, poorly lit alleyway or street, wrong side of the tracks, who knows? This looks so cool. It looks so amazing. Look at this. Yeah, for all we know, we're looking out to the sky. There's just no stars. But yeah, this is a really, man, really convincing, realistic diorama, methinks. And here it is in like a, uh, I don't know, Twilight, sun setting maybe, uh, maybe sun setting with warm light. Let's try that. Yeah, there we go. That's pretty cool. Man, I really, really super love this diorama, and I'm super digging it in this red, warmish light. Oh man, let me just zoom in here a little bit. So here's the diorama, uh, broken down and uh, shows everything it comes with. We got uh, two pieces of the base, we got the two walls, we got three chain link fences, and uh, we have uh, all the boards that go on those fences. And I think there is uh, six? Seven. Seven boards, yeah, that's about right. Uh, let's see, we got our ticket meter thing, is that what it's called? Ticket meter, yeah. <laughs> okay, we have uh, two of these posts. Yes. Um, oh yeah, we don't have the extra battery. There's extra batteries for the light that's going to be included with this. And uh, down here we got a couple of uh, those uh, pylons, empty pizza box, some boards, uh, cloth, spray cans with their lids, beer bottles, a little wrench for our fire hydrant, and uh, milk crate. We got all kinds of newspapers, some flyers, and uh, some broken glass to put wherever you like. Yeah, you can do this thing up however you please. And I'll show you, this is like the super easiest diorama to put together, but I'll show you just in case. So uh, yeah, I'll show you right now. Super easy. There's only uh, magnets on one side of the base here, and uh, yeah, we're gonna connect just like that. Voila, you got your base in place. And for the back wall, there's just two pieces, and they also connect via magnet 
in only one area, which is right here where the magnets are, and they just go like so. Now, the magnets that hold these two pieces in aren't as strong as the base magnets because these are uh, thinner pieces of foam, but uh, it still works. And then there's magnets that are on the back of this uh, sidewalk that are going to connect uh, this whole thing together. And we can see it just like this. It goes and it sucks it into place. And uh, if you need to, you can just push from the back of each corner to get it to fit as uh, snug as you wish. And uh, it's just like that. And if you can hear, there's scary thunder going on for a storm outside. But the show must go on. Let's give myself a little bit more space here. <laughs> Yoink. Okay, what's next? We got our fences. Yeah, three chain link fences here. And it's really easy, and I'm not sure if this is gonna show up on film, probably not. But on the bottom of each uh, set, like of each uh, piece, uh, there's a number. So this one says number one. And we're gonna start when we're looking face at it from left to right, as if you're reading a book. So number one is going to go friction fit in the holes here uh, very easily, just like this. Yeah. Ta -da. And then we get the second one, which on the bottom of these uh, things is gonna say two. And then that goes in beside and it friction fits. Now this is a lot easier when you're doing it um, yourself. Uh, right now I'm trying to do it in one, with one hand so it's a little bit trickier. But uh, yeah, we got that one in there. And then our third one obviously goes in at the end. Nice friction fit. Boink and boink and boink. And uh, feel free to push down. Um, as hard as you need to, it won't hurt because um, it's uh, pretty pretty sturdy. So we got it. We got our fence there. You could even just leave that look if you like, if uh, it tickles your fancy. But uh, we're gonna put on our boards here, our stack of boards. Now to make it really easy, on the back there's also instructions. So this one says left to right first. So this is number one, and they have magnets on the back. So we know we go over here. And we just find the corresponding magnet and sucks it into place. And our next one says two with an arrow pointing where the direction goes on. And we just go like this and put that. And then we got this one, number three, and so forth and so on. The magnets are just going to grab them and suck them into place. And then you can just adjust them to the uh, straightness as you wish. And there you go, you have a diorama. But wait. We have our light post, telephone, well, wire pole things. <laughs> okay, so this one with the uh, tubular box on top, friction fits to the hole on the left side, just like that. And then our fatter pole with the actual light is gonna friction fit to the hole uh, on the right side and that's just going to go in like that as well and voila as far as the fire hydrant and the uh, meter ticket meter thing uh, these just stand on their own so you can swap swap them out so you can have uh, your meter reader there instead of the hydrant or you can throw the hydrant there uh, or wherever you want but usually it won't be a, a meter beside a hydrant because you can't park near a fire hydrant. But anyways, you can set this up however you want. Doesn't matter. Put all the accessories where you like. Uh, it's your diorama now, wherever this is going to, um, or anybody out there who's potentially wanting one in the future. Yeah, it's great. And it's so easy. Bam, look at that. You get a diorama instantly. So I forgot to share one last detail about the uh, lights, but I actually mailed the diorama already, so it's uh, long gone. But uh, here is the lamp um, that is fixed to the posts uh, in the diorama and uh, if you want to change the uh, batteries for it all you have to do is twist and turn off this uh, cap and this comes out whoop and then as you see little batteries in there you take them out and you put in the new batteries and then it goes back inside this housing <laughs> like this 
and then you take the uh, lid thingy on and put it and just screw it and there you go wink wink just like so so there you have it that is a pretty cool diorama I really like it I love those telephone poles telephone poles light poles light poles that doesn't even sound right electrical poles whatever those poles are <laughs> I like them and I thought they looked uh, pretty convincing and real considering they were just made with uh, a bunch of scraps in a cave um, yeah turned out great um, and I plan on making more of those dioramas if they interest you and you want one uh, please check out my Instagram account because every diorama I make uh, I showcase it there um, maybe usually first yeah before YouTube and I, uh, I put it up for sale there you can just buy it and they go pretty quick which is pretty nice uh, pat myself on the back if I could reach my back um, so yeah uh, go check out that and uh, what else this is the outro right yeah the, okay this is the outro um, as usual, thanks for uh, coming and watching my videos. I really appreciate it. Uh, and uh, like I said, if you want to figure out uh, what the heck I'm doing in this uh, three-piece cage, is that what it's called? I think. Um, then check out the video before or after this. I would really appreciate it um, because it means uh, a lot to me. It's very important to uh, Spriggan Studios. And uh, I think it's about that time we take the next step together and we help this whole enterprise become something more and something better and those of you who do choose to watch the video and give said support will be helping lay the foundation the stronger foundations and be a part of Spriggan Studios history on the ground floor to say hey I remember when this was smaller time and uh, you know it was very cozy and things before it blew up and became this nice big thing. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, I gotta go. I gotta. I gotta end this. Um, so, uh, stay creative and cozy. Please stay tuned for more fun and exciting videos. I got some Asuma video coming up real soon. Uh, the next video probably. And uh, yeah, I'm your host, Mr. Spriggan. Yeah. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully. Peace out. Wait, I want to see. Do I look super smart now in a suit with the glasses? Support Sprickin Studios on my OnlyFans page. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what the f I'm doing.